Just got to Alora Gorge. We're heading to site 480. And this is the spot where you get out on your tube. No fishing or loitering on the bridge. It looks pretty fun. Don't know if we gotta do it today, but we're staying tomorrow night as well. And we made it to site 480. Mike and Brad showed up. And ironically, my brother's friend Trevor, that's his car right there. He was camping here last night. He just went for a little hike. He's gonna take off soon. Too bad he can't stay the night. But, there's Tuna. This is one fire ring. It's a tent spot. In between us and the car you could use too. But down here is where we're gonna hang out. That's where the magic happens. So here's our setup. That's Brad's fortress. Mike's tent is over there. Little baby. Little baby. Look at these rocks. I'm gonna get a razor going in there tonight. There's lots of brush around too to saw up. And there's my tent. Here is the gorge right behind us. You can hear it going. You can hear it flowing, but you can't see it even if you do walk up to the railing. So yeah, still the first day and we went and ate at the cellar and had some beers on the Grand River. Beautiful place. If you ever hear it, go to the cellar. Don't go to the place around the corner that has live music. Ignore that. Here he comes, the captain. You are boy, United States. Vote for you, the candidate. So I get. But we are off for a bike ride. This is the bus that takes you from the tube launch. Bus it takes you from the tube exit to the tube launch. Bike time. Yeah, uh, tubing's up ahead. I'm gonna check that out later. This is a one-way bridge. The gorge on one side. And the others. So tubers will be coming down. I don't see any right now. Point down the hole in the rock. Echo. Up here is a cave. Mike said he climbed in one. Here they go from there and scale the rock wall and then he went in the cave and then dropped down there. Pretty cool this campground, it's all theater. Bruce Peninsula National Park reminds me of a lot. Some of these theaters must be really old because they're huge. Right in the old
Yeah, right there we're floating around. Walk up the rapids, float down, walk up, float down, fun. Well, we just came from there. That no trespassing sign, that's the park boundary. We're under a bridge right now. We're gonna head into the town of Alora for a little bit and check out the dam. This is the Grand River, remember? Oh, so there's a dam up there. This used to be an old hotel, looking over the water. Pretty neat. In the ruins of some old building from the 1800s. So people have having fires in here. Probably something to do with the dam, a pump house, or I don't know, or a wheelhouse. Tube and time. Tube and time. Tube and time. Do you have the keys? Uh, you gonna have more pizza? Just came from the parking lot up there. We're heading down to tube launching. Tube launching. Here is the spot, the spot. There's Brad, Tina, and Mike. Get in the water up there. And they are gonna float and shoot right down there. It's going pretty good right now. That guy has a throw rope, he works for the conservation. Here comes Mike! Brad and Tuna! Tuna! Mike's going down first! Hey! Brad! Oh, it's Tuna! He's stuck! You keep going, we did earlier, it's about a half an hour to the end where the bus picks you up to drive to the back, but we're just going to play around here for a while. Oh no! Getting rocked. Starting to rain. Have you ever had to save anyone? Uh, yeah, a couple times. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Sweet. Okay. How was it? <laughs> was fun? No, Other people were bailing. There's lots of paddlers out today. Well, tubing was fun today. 
all tubed out now. Sore. Mm -hmm. Especially Tina's tailbone. Yep. Smoked it on a rock. And it is going to thunderstorm like mad tonight. There's warnings in place. I checked the radar. It's going to be coming consistently. Looks like no fire. But I can't wait to see how high that water is tomorrow. Time for some tunes. I need my the day is saved, Brad had a tarp. Yeah, the rain will keep it nice and cool. Maybe no more wood on the fire. Yeah, no, keep it going. So look at Mike's idea of cooking. Pita bread, ground beef, cheese. It is still raining, it's 11 o'clock. The tarp is holding up amazingly well. It hasn't been too windy, so. I should the wind died down more. It's supposed to go straight up. It was blowing on us earlier. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, the song's starting. That tarp's just tanking it. Yeah, we're good. Just packed up after a night of heavy rain. You can see what the tent spot looks like. A dry square. Been a fun trip. Heading out soon. I'm gonna go check the tube launch area to see how high the water is. It's just really rushing when you can hear it. It's a lot higher than it was this time yesterday. There's the other 10 spots. If I were coming to camp tonight, I'd take one of those dry spots. Oh, they're going down the rapids! <laughs> Look at that thing. Apparently there's a big swimming spot here. Here is the quarry. Tina and Brad are down there. And there is a nice beach over there. So shift in some sand and maybe. Oh, is that the Grand River behind? Yeah, yeah I see. Simon Birch was filmed here. Angel Eyes was filmed here. Dead Silent was filmed here. Yeah, let's see a good spot to shoot movies. Jennifer Lopez jumped off that one right there where the sign is. Jennifer Lopez jumped off there? Yeah. Water is green, eh? It must be from the limestone. Yeah, it's stagnant, but it's clean because of the limestone. Yeah. I don't know. Let's hike down there. So there's a small cliff you can jump off. Pretty cool spot. <laughs> 